Hello Savvy Devs, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll spend some time and review how to install and use flat packs in Linux, specifically Ubuntu today, but this will also apply to most Debian and Ubuntu based distributions out there, as well as such distributions as Fedora, Arch Linux, CentOS, and many more that are based on the mentioned distributions. So what I have in front of me here is a fresh install of the normal Ubuntu desktop version 1904. I'll be showing you how to install and use the flat pack here, but I've also put a list of various install commands in the description below for different types of distributions. So you can use whatever suits your needs. The commands after you have flat pack installed will be the same. The first thing we'll do is go ahead and install flat pack. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. If we hit the applications launcher here, we can type in terminal and find one. You can do this in any other distribution. Let me make the text a little bigger here so we can see it a little better. A moment to zoom in. That should be plenty big. So let's first install Flatpak globally here by using the a super user to install it. So if we do sudo space apt space install space Flatpak. I'll make sure to post these commands in the description below. So if you need to go ahead and use that, you can as well. Press enter, put your password in for your administrative user. Give it a moment here. It's going to ask you if you want to continue. It's just warning you that you're going to use some extra space here on your disk. Yes, I'm sure. Give it a moment here. Should be pretty quick to uh, install. And now we should have a flat pack installed. So it'll be pretty easy to check. Let's just go ahead and start typing in Flatpak. And then I did tab twice, and now I see that Flatpak exists as a command. So what happens, let's see if we just type in Flatpak. It says error, no command specified, but it did find Flatpak, so that's great. And if you need some help, you can always type in Flatpak space dash dash help. And now you get a list of various switches that you can use with Flatpak. All right, well at this point uh, we've got the first part done, so let's go ahead and minimize our terminal for now since we're not going to use it. And if you're new and stopping by today, make sure to subscribe so you can follow future videos. Next, we'll go to the Flatpak website and uh, find an application that we want to install. I'll choose, uh, let's see, Spotify, because I really enjoy listening to music on there. But before that, uh, what exactly is Flatpak? Well, Flatpaks are uh, applications in which a developer can create a sandboxed environment for their own application, making the application non-distribution dependent because all of the necessary libraries and packages come together and exist within the application. This really allows the developers to create frameworks around their applications which makes it easier for the developers and even the users since all of the required items to run an application come with the Flatpak package. Now instead of having to install any unmet dependencies, they're all resolved inside the Flatpak because you get everything with it. And if you've made it this far, please take a moment to like the video. It really does help me out. Let's go to uh, flatpak.org here to get a Flatpak specifically Spotify. And all we do in a browser of our choice is type in flathub.org. That's uh, where they store all the flat packs and you can search for them here. And as you can see here, uh, one of the popular applications is actually Spotify, but uh, let's just go ahead and show you that you can search here for Spotify and it pops up. So this will give you access to uh, many more applications that aren't uh, just standard to the Ubuntu distribution. So let's go ahead and click on the flat pack and just hit this install button, which will download the flat pack. And since we don't uh, want to install it with the native software center that comes with Ubuntu, because we want to be able to install this on uh, multiple different uh, distributions or platforms, we're going to do the save file and save it uh, to our downloads folder. Go ahead and do that. It should be fairly quick here because it just downloads a reference file to a flat pack. And then we're going to start that terminal back up that we uh, minimized. 
And at this point, there are a few things we can do in order to install that flat pack. We can either install it globally for every user or we can install it for a specific user. So the real difference here is we can do flat pack and then type in dash dash a user name followed by install and then point it to the location of the flat pack reference file. So I believe that was in downloads and then it was the com.spotify.client.flatpackref. So we can use it this way, or as I would like to use it, uh, let's go ahead and erase some of this. So uh, we'll start with sudo flatpack install space, and then point it back to the downloads folder So what I got here is the sudo flatpak install space downloads and the com.spotify client flatpak ref as you see down here. I'll go ahead and uh, also put this in the description. And once we have this command in, we can go ahead and press enter. The first question you're getting is uh, should the remote be kept for future installations? By default that's yes and that's fine by me. The next thing you get is that it requires a runtime to go ahead and run this Spotify flat pack from uh, Flathub. So uh, we will need this in order to run Spotify. So let's go ahead and install it. The default's yes as well, just press enter. And at this point, it asks you if you want to proceed making changes to your uh, system and start the in installation. And uh, we're ready to do that. So you can also press enter to uh, do the default, which is yes. and now the installer is starting. So we got one out of five things done, as you can tell here. It uh, gives you how much is done out of how much space will be used. And we have five different things that need to be installed before we have the full package. So uh, some distributions are now offering Flatpak support out of the box with native installers. So all you'll have to do is uh, go to the Flathub website and download a flat pack and install it using uh, these uh, native installers. One distribution that just started offering this is uh, Elementary OS, which is a great distribution if you want something very clean and uh, aesthetically pleasing, at least in my eyes. You can also check out a review about the latest Elementary 5.1 Hera if you're interested on my channel. I had just released that. There's uh, also the ability to install a GUI-based Flatpak installer with GNOME desktop environments. If you're interested, make sure to uh, go ahead and try finding that and checking that out. We're almost done here installing uh, the fifth thing out of uh, five things to install, so give it a moment here. And we're almost done. And it says that the installation is complete if everything went successfully. I'm just going to clear the terminal so we can see a little better. So there's really two ways we can run it right now. Uh, we can do flat pack run and then we'll have to type in an application ID or we should be able to find it in applications after we've restarted the computer. I don't believe it's going to be here quite yet. Let's just go ahead and try doing Spotify. See it does find something in the Ubuntu software center but uh, nothing installed on the computer. So let's go back to activities. I'm just going to restart the computer since uh, I find this just the easiest way to uh, go ahead and get that application after we've uh, installed it. So just sudo reboot real quick and we'll be right back into our Ubuntu desktop here in a moment. And I'm here back on the desktop after the reboot. I'm going to go to show applications and then search for Spotify. And as you can see now, we do have Spotify available and installed on our computer. Let's go ahead and click that and see if it launches here. And look at that. Now we have Spotify. So we can log in and listen to our favorite music on Spotify. And congratulations, at this point uh, you've used uh, Flatpaks successfully. And you can go ahead and search the flathub.org website for many different other applications that you might want to install on your Linux distribution.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this Linux talk about flat packs. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.